Hi guys, I'm Laurel. I manage Pacific Rim Fishing Tackle and today I'm going to show you how to do stripes with Flashaboo. About a year ago I made a video on how to skirt with Flashaboo and I said I was going to make a stripes video and we just got super busy in the store, never really had a chance to do so. So um, if you've already seen that video, this is going to be very simple for you. It's not too different. But if you haven't seen the Flashaboo skirting video, I advise that you watch that and then come back and watch this video. Um, so what you need to do this is a lure head. Um, this is a Marlin Magic Baby Blue. It has a blue top, yellow stripe down the side, and a white belly. Four packs of Flashaboo. I usually use four in this process. So you need one color for the top, one color for the belly, um, one pack for the sides, and then you need one pack for the inside. You need some rigging floss. I'm using 30 pound again. You need some scissors trash can nearby, some of those handy dandy rubber bands that I like to use for flashaboo skirting, and then some zip ties, some small zip ties. And that's everything that you need, and let's get started. So you have your lure head ready. Um, I'm going to do silver on the inside of my baby blue, so let's take it out of the pack. Use my one rubber band for the inside ridge. Okay, and then, you know, I like to leave about an inch between the rubber band and the metal clasp, or in this case, it's a little zip tie. I'm going to cut it as close to the zip tie or the metal clasp as I can. Spread the fibers around the lure evenly. I've said this in my previous videos, but just make sure that the flash of the long ends are hanging down over the top of the lure head. So once everything is even, I use a piece of floss. And I tie it around as tight as I can and secure it with two double overhand knots. Cut the excess floss, throw it in the trash can, flip the lure back over again. Now it's facing the right way. I cut a piece of floss and I'm going to secure it to the lure head, tie it around a couple times, secure with two double overhand knots. and then cut the excess floss. All right, that was easy. Here we go. So on the next step, take the flash boot out. So I'm matching the lure head on this example. A lot of lure heads do have these stripes on the side. So I'm gonna try to match it up as evenly as possible. I was gonna use the other yellow, but I like the way that this bright yellow flows a little bit better. those out of the pack. Oh. All right. So depending on how big the stripe is, you don't actually want to use a full pack. Um, so this is a pretty, pretty small uh, stripe on the side of this lure. So I'm going to, I'm going to steal about maybe one third of this pack of Flashaboo and I am going to use a zip tie tied as tight as possible and then um, cut it super close to the top of the metal clasp uh, with the stripes because you're not using the full length of flashaboo it's actually going to be a little bit shorter so try to cut it as close as you can to the top of the metal clasp or you'll lose some length we don't want to do that right and then I always cut the zip tie too because it's going to get in your way so let's secure this with a zip tie. Cut that. And then I'm gonna cut 
this. So that's like that. And then save this for later. And then I'm going to use my hand dandy rubber band. I'm going to slip the blue so the long strands are hanging over the top of the lower head and the metal clasp bend is on the bottom of the lower head. I'm going to match it up with the blue on the top of the lower head. And then I'm going to use the white and slip that under the bottom of the lower head where the words are. And I'm going to keep that open. I don't want to, it's going to be hard to, once you let go to the rubber band, to grab it again. Slip my yellow flash of boo in directly over top of that stripe. Flip the lower over. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay, it's over top of that. And you want to keep it in the zip tie because you don't want that stripe to be too big. And if you do cut the zip tie or um, get rid of the zip tie or pull it off, it, it probably is going to spread out a little bit more. I don't want it to do that. And then I'm going to cut the blue flash of blue, flash of blue, flash of blue, spread it around at the top of the lower head. So now the yellow is matched up with the right yellow this yellow's matched up on this side. Okay, now we spread the blue around the blue top. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the white. Cut the white flashaboo as close as I can to the metal clasp. Spread it around the lower head. And then I'm going to just double check it. Try to be careful with this because if you've been doing this for a while, you do know that you'll lose a lot of flashaboo if you lose, if you get it out of the rubber band. So I'm going to carefully flip it over and just see if everything matches up where it needs to be. It doesn't exactly. So I'm going to move up the yellow a little bit more. There we go. Make sure that it's everywhere you need it to be white's good right now. The blue's good. Looks like I have some of my blue a little bit too concentrated on one end, so let's move some of that over here. Now I take another piece of floss, cut my floss, tie it around the lower head. tied around a couple of times. I still want to double check to make sure that it's where it needs to be. This yellow stripe's perfect. This one's not quite. <laughs> All right. Tie it around a bunch more times. And then let's secure it with two double overhand knots. Now I'm going to pull the zip ties off. Flip the lure, flip the flash of boo back down over. One more piece of floss. just remembered that you need one more thing. Some super glue. And then I secure it with two, two double overhand knots. Cut it. Need to do a small dab of super glue over the knot for extra protection. And then cut the flash of so it's all the same length. And then we have our finished product. This is our flash of boo lure that has stripes of a color of flash of boo on it, matches the lure head perfectly. 
Um, if this video helped you out, please like and subscribe and give us any comments on other videos that you'd like to see. Sorry this one took so long. We got super busy during, um, during the winter season this year and pretty much had no time to make new videos. But we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.